They have been making a lot of changes to base durability, fortified wall levels, durability, base damage resist, all of those things. If you guys will remember a few months ago, I made a fortified wall leveling strategy guide and that was applicable then. Now we've had a lot of changes and so that is actually not applicable anymore. That is void and there is a new approach to all of the fortified wall strategies and leveling up and all of the above. So we're going to detail that today and bring you guys a new updated guide for your fortified wall walls some of the changes that they have made to fortified walls recently is they have updated the durability of walls up to a certain level they have actually added a hundred more levels to the fortified walls previously it was 200 levels per wall now you can go up to 300 in for each fortified wall so they've made some pretty significant changes and so i'm really excited to bring you guys this video and give you guys an updated look on what the best approach and strategy is to leveling up your fortified walls if you guys are enjoying the videos on the channel want to see more videos like this hit the like button hit the subscribe button both of those things help the channel out tremendously and if you guys have access to discord and are not already in our community discord server the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below click on that link it'll take you right into the community discord server absolutely everybody is welcome we'd love to have you and with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into the video Welcome back, guys. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into it. First off here, we're going to kind of discuss what the previous approach to the wall, the fortified wall building strategy was, and what the previous kind of statistics behind that were. And then we're going to transition into the new strategy. So that way you guys can have an apples to apples comparison and understand a little bit better why the new strategy is what it is. So previously, when you guys would upgrade your fortified walls, Every single level, it didn't matter what level, if it was level 1 going to level 2 or if it was level 160 going to 161, it didn't matter. It was going to give you 500k uh, wall HP. Didn't, again, didn't matter the level. It was 500k across the board. That has since changed, and we're going to detail kind of how that's changed since then here in just a few minutes. So the original approach to fortified wall upgrades was to get every single uh, fortified wall you had, you have four of them, it was to get every single one of those to level 10 and the reason you wanted to get them to level 10 first is because once you got them to level 10, that was going to give you the max amount of base damage resist versus bombers. After you got to level 10, there was no more increase in base damage resist against bombers, and that's still the case today. Uh, however, you are going to go past level 10 now, and we'll explain why. So originally, after you got each of your four walls to level 10, so you got that max amount of base damage resist versus bombers, then what you did, the approach was, is to take one single single wall all the way up to level 200 which is the max level that you could take it to at that time and then once that one single wall was level 200 then you would start on your next wall and take that wall to level 200 and then take the and then move on to the next wall take the third one to 200 and you guys get the point there so like i previously said in the intro of this video right they have increased the total number of levels per wall now you can go up to 300 levels instead of 200 so that is obviously added a dynamic to fortified walls and the upgrades strategy but that's kind of second to what we are going to talk about prior to getting to level 300 and why the actual approach across the board is different now so starting from the top here let's talk about the actual changes that, that they have made to wall hp so like i previously said uh when they first introduced fortified walls you were going to get 500k wall hp per wall upgrade across the board didn't matter what level it was or what level you were going to now from level 1 through 20 you're going to get 1.5 million wall hp per upgrade so you guys can see from level 1 to level 2 it's going to go from 1.5 million to 3 level two to level three is three million to 4.5 and so on and so forth and that's going to take us all the way to level 20. once you get to level 20 from level 20 all the way to level 50 now you guys are going to get 1 million wall hp so it goes from one and a half from level one to level 20 once you guys get to level 20 it's going to go from one and a half to 1 million wall hp all the way up until level 50 so you guys can see 30 to 31 30 31 to 32 and so on and so forth all the way to 50 and then once we get to level 50 
all upgrades past level 50 revert back to the original 500k wall HP per level upgrade. One thing I do want to note that is important but that has not actually changed is once you get to level 200, you guys are again at level 10, you're going to get the 7.5% base damage resist versus bombers. That's the max it'll go at any level once you get past level 10. It doesn't go any higher than that, at least as of right now. Um, and then once you got to level 200 previously, you would have the 32% base damage resist percentage. However, that has not changed either. Once you get to level 200, it is still 32% and it does not increase past that. Every level you upgrade past level 200 is strictly going to give you just extra wall HP. It is not going to change your base damage resist at all. It is not going to change your base damage resist versus bombers. It is strictly base HP only. So now that we have talked about the changes that have been made to fortified walls through the last few updates, let's actually talk about what the new strategy for leveling up your fortified walls actually is going to be. So now with the new changes, what we want to do is we want to get every single one of our walls up to level 20 first. So now what we want to do with all of the changes that have been made to fortified walls, here's going to be the strategy and approach that we want to take. So first, we want to get every single one of our walls individually to level 10. The reason we want to get them all to level 10 is so that way all four of them have the max amount of base damage resist first bombers. We're going to get the full 7.5% of base damage resist first bombers at level 10. So every single wall is going to go to level 10 first. After we get every single wall to level 10, then we want to take every Every single wall up to level 20 so that way we are getting the full 1.5 million wall HP per single wall so we're going to take every single thing every single wall up to level 10 once every single wall is up to level 10 then we're going to go back and we're going to get every single wall to level 20 to get the max amount the full 1.5 million wall HP after every single wall is level 20 then what we want to do is we want to go back and we want to get every single one of our walls to level 50. The reason we want to go to level 50 with every single wall is because that's going to give us the 1 million wall HP per upgrade. So we're going to get as much of the wall HP as we possibly can out of each of these walls on the early levels 1 through 50. After every single one of your walls is level 50, the then we want to start working in intervals of 50. So 50 levels per wall at a time until a certain point. So what we're gonna do is once every single wall is level 50, then we're gonna take every single wall to level 100. Once we get every single wall to level 100, then we wanna take the walls up to level 150. After each wall is level 150, then we want to take each wall up to level 200. Once every single one of your four fortified walls is level 200, then we want to take a single wall at a time up to level 300. So the first wall is going to go from 200 to 300, and then we're going to go to the second wall and go from 200 to 300, third wall, fourth wall, set, rinse, and repeat across the board for all four of your fortified walls. Now you might be asking yourself, why do we want to go in intervals of 50? And that's a great question. Let's talk about it. So like we talked about, once we get to level 50, from level 50 onward, we're only going to get the 500k wall HP. So up to level 50 is going to give us the 1.5 million wall HP and the 1 million wall HP. But once we get to level 50, all upgrades past that are strictly 500k. So you might be, you're probably thinking or wanting to ask, well, at that point, if we're not going to get any additional wall HP, why don't we just take one wall up to level 300? And here's why. So I want you guys to focus on this base damage resist column right here. So as we go down, as we progress level, you guys can see it's level, it's 9%, right? From level 50 all the way to level 60, we're going to get 9% base damage resist, right? At level 60, it goes up to 10%. And we scroll down at level 70, it's going to go up 1% to 11 at level 74, or rather level 75, it's going to go up another percent to 12, okay? We keep going. And then once we get to level 90, it's going to be 14%. So we're increasing by intervals of one so far, okay? Once we get all the way to level 99, when we make the transition to level 100, it's going to go up to 16%. So it's going to be instead of a 1% hike, it's going to jump 2% once we get to level 100. So same thing, let's follow the trend here. So from level 100, okay, we've got 16%. You guys can see we're moving at level 110, it goes to 17%. 120, 18 percent, 125, 19 percent, 130, 20 percent, 
okay, and so on and so forth, 140, 21%, okay, and you guys can see we're moving in intervals of one, right, but then once we get to this next transition period here from level 149 to level 150, it jumps another 2% instead of just the 1%, so we go from 21% base damage resist to 23% base damage resist. And then same thing from this next transitional period. So from level 150 moving forward, we've got 23%. Okay, once we get to 60, 160, we're gonna go up to 24%. Once we get to 170, once we get to level 170, we're at 25%. Level 175, we're at 26%. Level 180, we're at 27%. Level 190, we're at 28%. So we're moving in intervals of one still. And then, boom, once we get to level 199, we have a big spike here, okay? We're going to go up 4% in terms of base damage resist at level 200. That's a pretty significant jump. So what we're doing by going in level fi in 50 levels at a time or 50, 50 level intervals is we're going to really maximize that amount of base damage resist we're getting for each one of our walls along the way. And then once you get to level 200, then it doesn't change. The base damage resist all the way from level 200 onward down all the way to level 300, as you guys can see, doesn't change. We're still at 7.5% uh, base damage resist versus bombers, and we're still at 32% base damage resist in general. So once you hit level 200, the base damage resist and the base damage resist versus bombers does not change at all at any point in time. The only thing you guys are going to be gaining from level 200 onward is going to be the 500k uh, wall HP, which does help. But the damage resist is going to be crucial, crucial, crucial for you guys. And we want to maximize that as much as possible, which is why we want to go in intervals of 50. All right, guys. So to summarize all of that in super condensed super simplified terms each wall is going to go from level 1 to level 20 once it's level 20 it's going to go from 20 to 50 once every wall is 50 we're going to go to 50 from 50 to 100 from 100 to 150 from 150 to 200 and then 200 onward for each wall so again some pretty significant changes compared to the previous wall upgrading strategy that we had um there's been a lot of changes and and uh you know modifications that they've made to walls in previous updates so i've seen a lot of people just in the community in general asking about what's the best strategy for fortified wall upgrades and here it is i wanted to get you guys this information to help you guys as much as i possibly could if you guys did enjoy the video, if you guys found value out of this video, if this video did help you guys and you guys were previously confused about the best fortified wall upgrading strategy, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel out tremendously. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you guys have a different approach than this? Is your guys' approach the same? Give me your thoughts. Give me your opinions in the comments below. And again, if you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below. Click on that link. It'll take you right into the community Discord server. Absolutely, everybody is welcome. We'd love to have you come be a part of it with us. Thanks for hanging out with me on the video today, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.